In a recent edition of The American Veteran, we visited Northern California to profile how veterans are served in that part of the country. One of the resulting stories offered details about Sentinels of Freedom. It's a nonprofit scholarship foundation that provides substantial support to severely wounded veterans, veterans transitioning back to civilian life following recovery. Here's a follow-up that looks at how the program began. About five years ago, as an Army soldier, Jake Brown was taking part in a combat training exercise when he was seriously injured by a tank. He spent more than a year recovering in a hospital overseas. Then when it came time to come home as a disabled veteran, a lot of different things weighed on his mind. I didn't have full use to my extremities and I didn't know what kind of employment I would be able to find. I didn't have a college degree at the time, so it, it was very scary and I stayed up many nights wondering how things would turn out for me. Jake's situation gave a close family friend an idea. So Mike Conklin, the father of three Army Rangers, called a meeting of leaders in their hometown of San Ramos, California. I gathered up about 10 community leaders and I told them the story about Jake and I asked them what our responsibility was. The assistance Jake received became the framework for a nonprofit that Mike created, Sentinels of Freedom. Sentinels of Freedom is a program we developed community-based to assist severely injured and wounded members of our military armed forces. Jake became the first veteran to complete the Sentinels of Freedom program. As a result, he now works for a computer software company called Sybase. These individuals, we think, bring a huge potential asset to our community when they come home. So we're very interested in supporting them, making them really part of the community again, and succeeding. We shall never leave you. We shall never forsake you. That's the Sentinels of Freedom promise and creed. The best way to apply for a life scholarship is by going to the group's website, www.sentinelsoffreedom.org.